the homeless person is a person just like you and me and they deserve respect just like you and me. I would like to introduce you to Ray. Hi Ray. Hello. Thank you for talking to us. I'm gonna sit here. Ray, how long have you been on the street? Uh, now perhaps maybe I guess uh, 10, 12 years. 10, 12 years? Yeah. Um, I work for different companies there. Yeah. Publix, uh, Regal Movie. Yeah. I've had jobs here. Uh, hotel chain. The situation is I'm no longer employed with them. Uh, cut back. So when I become unemployed, uh, survival skills. I don't have income to continue to stay inside or pay for a hotel room every day, every day, every day. For you know, weeks and months. So what I do is a lot of us do. We we try to do it outside. We live outside. We find shelter in different areas from uh, when it rains, like you come to the library, thank you. Some of these buildings right here, you get, you know, you could be standing underneath one of these to get out of the rain. Uh, I myself and have strength and God you know, knowing how to survive out here. Well, um, for me, uh, I'm, I'm born and raised from Richard Richardson. Uh, my mother is uh, Cherokee, and my father is black. So I'm a native black American Indian. Um, I love it, you know, down here. But in the last couple of years, I'm feeling like going back to Virginia, where I come from. I came, you know, I came here. And, you know, I've been successful a little, be having jobs inside. But as I'm getting older, uh, a lot of these. Job opportunities are coming uh, toward me. Harder. Yeah, but well, you don't have income to get on a bus or anything like that. I can remember when they had this thing set up at the five five five, where they would uh, voucher you or pay a ticket. Well, uh, for you they to go. still have it. You said they had in the past, and no, they still have it. Yes, but see, they they, they limit that to once, one time only. Uh, okay, like if you... So, wait a minute, so you came here, they, they gave you a ticket before, you, you went back before, is that what you're saying? Yeah, uh, I, I was young then. Uh, that's how I got here. Uh, I, I came here because I wanted the opportunity to go somewhere else. So you're like on and off on jobs and when you could, you know, it's not like, it's not, you're not living on the streets because you want to. It's not your choice. Exactly. It's, it's a circumstance. It's a circumstance. At one point, you do, you went to the 555 building and they did give you a ticket to go back to Virginia. Yes, I, I how, had How many years ago? You said you were young. Oh, wow, that's, that's a long time, about 10, 12 years back. Oh, but okay. they only do that one time. I, I didn't know that, actually. And now, see, if, and if like, somebody else that is watching this, for example, now, yeah. they would mm. come out here, look mm. for you, yeah. Ray, Ray, and, uh, and they would offer you a ticket, uh, you would like that? Would that make you happy? The uh, older you get, it's harder to, to uh, be able to be uh, like uh, and, and have that type of characteristics for, for these hotel. Uh, um, so, in conclusion, if somebody out there would you like to give Ray a ticket to Richmond, Virginia, you can find him on the Collins Park by the Bath Museum. In front of the library or the or the uh, ballet, and that would be awful.